So finally the Tesla RoboTaxi has been unveiled. But there is something interesting about the RoboTaxi which Elon hasn't specifically said, but it is extremely important and so I certainly want to talk about that. And not only the Tesla RoboTaxi has been unveiled, but also the Robovan as Elon pronounced it. Some might even call it the Robovan. But Robovan certainly sounds cooler. We have quite a lot to talk about in this video. For instance, when will the CyberCab or RoboTaxi realistically come out? How much will it realistically cost? And what about the Robovan? When will it come out? What will it be used for? Some among you might even remember this clip here. So let's also talk about how the Robovan fits into all of this. And then also the Optimus robot. How much will it cost? And when can you finally get one yourself? There's so much to talk about in this video, it's crazy, so let's get started. So the cat is finally out of the bag. Thank God that we don't have to endure these AI generated robo taxi renders anymore. I think we've all had enough of those. So the robo taxi or cyber cab, I think I'll just go with cyber cab from now on, has been shown and it is very much how I would have expected it. Save for a few interesting design changes. Instead of the design that we were shown in Walter Isaacson's Elon Musk biography, it is, as I would have expected, not quite as over-the-top futuristic and more practical. We'll get to why that is in a second. And I personally am quite surprised by the large rear wheels. I thought when the yellow Cybercab test mule was spotted a few weeks ago that these were actually dummy wheels. So this is certainly very interesting. The car has arrow caps in order to increase aerodynamic efficiency and an elongated rear end for the same purpose. The aerodynamic drag coefficient of this cyber cab is most likely very low. I would guess possibly even slightly below a 0.2 CD value. Combine that with a narrow profile of the wheels and I think the cyber cab will be ultra efficient. It will very likely require a surprisingly small battery in order to still achieve 300 plus miles of range. The interior is, as we have already seen on some design sketches, very minimalistic in true Tesla fashion. There is only one large screen and two seats and not much else. But this is of course also in order to increase profit margins. Because remember, the best part is no part. That is Elon Musk's design philosophy. That is how you can really boost profit margins of a product. It is, as we have also guessed, a two-seater because over 90% of all cab rides are done by two people max. What is really impressive though is the giant center screen. It is really massive. I would guess that it is even larger than the one in the Cybertruck, which is an 18.5 inch screen. So the one in the Cybercab could have a 20 inch or even larger diagonal, which makes sense because of course you would want to watch something interesting while the Cybercab takes you to your destination. The cab has also a very large trunk in order to be able to store a lot of luggage. Now, when will this thing be available? According to Elon, in 2026. But that seems again a bit like Elon time. So of course it could be 2027. Elon said that it would cost less than $30,000, somewhere between $25,000 and $30,000, which, if true, will be an excellent price. And now to the extremely important thing, you will actually be able to buy this. You will be able to buy a few cyber cabs and run your own taxi service, which is really pretty awesome. So everybody can become a fleet operator and make money using cyber cabs. I'm especially relieved that the cyber cab is vision only and that it doesn't sport a LiDAR system. The yellow cyber cab trolled me there for a second and I was a bit afraid that some regulatory requirements would force Tesla to employ such a system. But it's really excellent that this isn't the case. And the cyber cab will come with a wireless charging system and an automatic robotic cleaning service has been teased as well which will of course be excellent if you want to use the CyberCab as a fleet operator. But now to the super important point, which I think most people have missed when watching this presentation. Tesla didn't just unveil the CyberCab, but it unveiled the CyberCab platform. 
which means that this will actually serve as the prototype for the famed $25,000 car, aka the Model 2. And that is why I also think that they didn't go too far on that one with over-the-top futurism, since it needs to be a mainstream product. In fact, the Model 2 might become Tesla's highest selling car. So they can't push the boundaries design-wise too much, but I think they did a really excellent compromise between futurism, functionality and also the potential for high profit margins. Because if you want to build a $25,000 car and still make money on it, you will need to be very efficient regarding the building process and you want to sell as many units as possible. That is why it looks so simplistic with only one screen. And that's also why I thought that the design would be relatively tame, which it is, yet still futuristic enough. I think it's an excellent compromise. So basically the $25,000 car will look very similar to the Cybercab, but of course it will have a steering wheel. Tesla can just attach a steering wheel with a steer by wire system like in the Cybertruck and change a thing here or there. And then basically you have two products with minimal changes to the assembly process. This is I think what many people missed here that we didn't just get to see a Cybercab, but probably also a preview of the Model 2 aka the $25,000 car. Now a product that certainly surprised many and it also surprised me, it was a true like WTF moment, was when the Robovan was introduced or the Robovan as Elon called it. Man, I love that pronunciation, it's hilarious. Anyways, the Robovan or Robovan was a real surprise, but many of us saw it coming. Elon has hinted already a few times that Tesla was working on a Robovan. However, we didn't expect it to look so crazy. It is basically a, a cyber van. It looks super over the top futuristic and it will be fully autonomous. You cannot find a steering wheel anywhere on the inside. Not much has been said about it. We just saw that it has space for quite an astounding amount of people. During the presentation, 14 people emerged from the Robovan, if I counted correctly. But Elon said that it can carry up to 20 people which is super impressive. I guess the seat configuration would have to be altered a bit in order to be able to hold 20 people though. Elon also said that a cargo version would be possible, where you can transport cargo automatically through cities or below cities. Truly fascinating to think about these things roaming city streets. Elon is really helping to make the future look like the future. It's something I've been complaining about for years now. That the freaking future didn't look like the future. But thanks to him, it becomes more and more as it always was supposed to be. Anyways, we don't know when the Robovan will be released and how much it will cost, but I guess that this is a product that we can realistically think about buying probably after the Cybercap or the Model 2 will come out, so maybe in 2028 or so. Or can we even buy it at all? Or will Tesla be just like a, a Robovan fleet provider? Now something about the Robovan, which people who have been following the progress of the boring company for a few years will certainly have noticed, is the fascinating similarity of the Robovan with the early boring company animations, where people were transported in transparent vans. I'm 100% sure that these robovans will be used in boring company tunnels. Especially so because it was a few years ago that somebody leaked a boring company van prototype of sorts, which looks actually quite similar to what the robovan has now become. So I think the robovan will see 100% a very big use case in the boring company tunnels. For instance, in Las Vegas, a very large boring tunnel network is being constructed right now as we speak, with some sections already working for years now. Imagine thousands of these things whizzing below traffic jams, allowing you to go from point A to point B much faster below ground, even in super congested cities. Amazing. And lastly, the Optimus robot. Elon gave us some interesting numbers on the Optimus. 
Tesla aims for a target price of 20 to 30 thousand dollars. 20 to 30 thousand, imagine that! Of course, we're talking about a long term price target here, and it will certainly be more expensive in the beginning. After all, we are talking about a first generation product here. It might be more towards like $100,000 when the first initial batches come out, but that price will come down fast. And I think that $20,000 to $30,000 should be achievable until, let's say, around 2030. Many of these robots already work in Tesla's factories and are constantly being trained with a neural network and are therefore constantly being improved. Elon suggested that there will be a giant market for the Optimus because everybody will want to have one. And this sounds very logical, that this will be a huge product and will absolutely change Tesla long term as a company. Tesla has already started its transformation away from a pure car manufacturer years ago, having branched out into the energy business, the insurance business and now into the AI world, robotics. And of course, it will also be a fleet operator as well, with its own cyber cabs and robovans. Tesla is becoming an insane hybrid of a company, merging AI, robotics, energy and car manufacturing. Incredible times! And so this event was extremely important, showcasing Tesla's long-term strategy and its really cool new products that will, in my opinion, pave the way for Tesla to become the first $10 trillion market cap company around the year 2030. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, since we will continue putting out lots of videos on fascinating technological developments. And please consider supporting us on Patreon or via YouTube membership, because that would allow us to make more and better videos. And I would especially like to thank our new Cosmic Architect level Patreon member, Stephen Yi. Thank you so much, Stephen, for supporting TechChasm. You, sir, are a true hero. Thank you so much all for watching. Have a nice day wherever you are and see you next time.